Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back. Now I did say I was going to show you something completely different today and indeed I am. Today I'm reviewing the, it's a brand new craft product or a brand new craft brand. It's called the 1893 Crafts and this is made exclusively for Ryman's which is actually a stationery store in the UK but they do a lot of other things as well and recently they just started doing crafts and they've got their own brand which is called 1893 Crafts. Now the reason it's called that is because 1893 was the year that Ryman's first started up as a business. So it's my complete privilege. This is not, I just have to tell you a bit of housekeeping here. This is not a sponsored video. Ryman's aren't sponsoring me. In fact, I doubt that they even know I'm doing it. But I went into their store for something completely different, saw all these lovely craft stuff and thought, oh, what's that? So I went in on two or three visits and got a bunch of stuff. And um, it's so fantastic, I thought I had to share it with you. So this is the 1893 Crafts brand from Ryman's in the UK. And I will add a link to Ryman's in the description below so that you can access, if you haven't got a Ryman's near you or you're not in the UK, you can get this wonderful bunch of goodies for yourself. Now, they do 12 by 12 paper pads. They do, from what I can gather, they do two pads. There were the, these were the two pads that I found. So I'm going to give you a quick flick through because there's so much to, I can't show you every one individually because there's so much to show you. We'd be here all day. So you've got these beautiful eight designs. You've got eight different designs. It's a good weight. It's a, I think it's a 200. Yes, it's a 200 GSM cardstock. So it's a good weight. It's a single sided. So you don't have to think, oh, I want that side or I want that side. It's a single sided and you've got three of each. You've got three of each design. So I'll give you a quick look through. Then I'll show you the other 12 by 12. So you've got this beautiful pale yellow. And because there are three of each one, I won't show you the, the same one three times. And you've got this, this one here. If I just push that back, well, actually I can't push it back because I'll push me stand back. Now what I'll do is I'll turn it around. So you've got these, I think they're probably about a six by six mat. I haven't measured them, but a lot of them have got foiling on. So if you want a quick and easy card, or if you're new to card making, this is pure simplicity. So what you could do, each one of these, these patterns, measure one of these four, they coordinate with these four pictures. So what you could do, you could put that down as your backing paper, maybe add a plain mat if you wish, put that down, job done, you've got a card. So actually while it's there, I'll, I think I'll keep it this way because it might actually be easier to show it to you. So you, we've got those and we've got these gorgeous, butterfly and floral this is called i think it's called butterfly dreams it is called butterfly dreams and you've got these they're very beautiful pastel colors so just with spring just around the corner these are going to be fantastic for your easter and mother's day makes absolutely gorgeous so i'll give you a quick look through this pad so i love that pink absolutely gorgeous and a lot of them have got foiling on, especially the butterfly wings and the centres of some of the flowers. So that's fantastic. So we've got that as well. And again, you could cut this out and make it into an embellishment if you wanted to. If you've got a die this size, I haven't measured it. But if you've got a die this size or if you could just hand cut it out or some people call it fussy cut it out. You can hand cut this out or die cut it and you can use these as individual embellishments. So you could be making your own embellishments pack ready to start your crafting straight away. And you've got this gorgeous butterfly background. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. Oh, and there it is again. I think that might be the last one in the pack. It is for that one. So we're going to very carefully close it. So I don't, I was being careful. So I didn't knock me stand. And I'm going to pop that on the floor for a minute because I've got so much stuff up here. <laughs> so I've already started to run out of room. And then we've got the fancy florals. Again, it's eight designs. And again, it's 200 GSM. And all of the Ryman's products, come from a responsible source so they've been take the papers have been milled from carefully f felled forests so or resources so it hasn't been taken from federal land or illegally so it's responsibly sourced as well which is even better and again we've got foiling so these are your eight designs and again i'll just flip it around this way because it's easier to show you if i put it that way so you've got these lovely a lot of these on this particular one are bright bright and bold flowers so you could cut these out if you wanted to, you could cut these out and actually use them as embellishments. And this is fantastic. You, again, you get three of each design. Now this is fantastic because what you could do, you could use that as it is. I didn't bring any today, but also in the in this range, they have the deep frame 
the deep shadow box frame. So what you could do, as we've got three of these, you could put one of these in your frame. I think it will probably fit quite nicely. And as we've got three, you could decoupage that. You could layer it up and you could use it as a wall hanging or a home decor. So that would be fantastic. There's so much opportunity to make things. And you've got that one. And again, this is all obvious. Obviously, it's all florals because the name says fancy florals. And you've got some leafs as well, leaf, leaf patterns. So they're absolutely gorgeous. And again, these bold ones, you could either use it as a backing paper or you could be cutting these out. And this, you could be making it up as a little posy or a little decoration on your cards. And again, with these ones, once more, you could leave it as a backing paper or you could cut them out, especially this one here, the one with all this foiling. That would look fantastic. In fact, what you could do, you could cut two of these out and offset them and layer them up as a 3D flower. That would look amazing. We might do that in the project when we start later. And we've got this fantastic floral, this pink floral. And I think that's the last one. Yes, it is. That's the last one in that pack. So that's the 12 by 12 packs. That was me just chucking it on the floor because, again, I've run out of room. Now, they also have some plain coloured cardstock. Now, this, I think this is, yes, this is, oh, it's 250. I thought it was 220, even better. So this is a 250 GSM coloured cardstock. I'll just put the, that, oh, put that on the floor as well for a minute. And this is, as it's the name suggests, coloured cardstock. You get lots of colours. You get this beautiful red, this lovely, lovely vibrant red. You get, I'm not quite sure how many you get of each colour. Shall we have a quick look? So I love that hot pink, that vibrant pink. It looks like you're in about one, two, three, four, three, about five of each colour, I think. So that's that's really good. So you can make a lot with that. You've got your pink. Let's just spread them out a bit, shall we? You've got a nice deep lilac or purple, whatever you want to call it. And your bright orange or yellow, yellowy gold. And we've got greens. So this pack, as it is, that's perfect for making flowers. So or whatever or you can do your mats and layers with it so you can do we can have so much fun with that and i'm going to very carefully because it's out of the pack pop it on the floor and the other pack the only other paper pack do you know what i'm going to pop that in just a little bit so that you can see it better this is an ombre marble pack now this is does it oh this is 200 gsm oh that's not bad for a six by six that's very nice and these papers they're the patterns on the front, but these papers, you have to see them. They're absolutely marvellous. And again, they're from the 1893 class range from Rhinans. You just have to see them. They're so gorgeous. Look at that. Looks like a marble top table, doesn't it? And there are so, so if we start from the front and we go through, again, there are several. I don't know how many there are of each one. Eight designs, but I'm not quite sure how many there are of each one. But there is, I love that one. That's one of my favourites. Absolutely gorgeous. And you've got your pastel colours as well. And indeed that one. So we'll just have a quick look through because there's so much more to show you. And the pink marble. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that one too. I love them all. They're so good. And there we go. And I think that's the last one. It is. So that's all the papers. So pop that on the floor as well. Right. The next thing I wanted to show you. Every crafter's dream. How often have we thought... Oh, if only we had a quick 3D flower sticker to maybe cover up a small mistake or fill a space. So, our dreams have been fulfilled thanks to these. Thanks to these stickers. And they are proper 3D flower stickers. I'll just make sure I haven't left anything behind. I haven't. Wonderful. So these are stickers. These are flower stickers. Every crafter's dream. Now, if I'd have thought about this earlier, I'd have brought some pa white paper down. But I'm sure we'll manage. So we've got all sorts of flowers here. We've got a sunflower. We've got these bits. I'm not a florist. I'm not very good with flowers, so I don't know the names of all of them, but I know what I like. And we've got those. And there are three sheets of each. There are three sheets of different flowers. They're not all the same. So you've got these. You've got these lovely ones here. And this one has got roses in it. Now, I, do not, I may not be a florist, but I do know what a rose looks like. So these have got these gorgeous roses and they've got I'm not sure if you can see them on the camera but they've got glitter on them as well so if ever you need something just to fill a space put in a corner cover up a small mistake maybe some ink that's leached into your card where you don't want it 
cover up a small mistake, fill a space, you've got the, they've got you covered. You've got these gorgeous 3D flower stickers and they are amazing. They're foam, they've got a little foam pad on the back, so you literally peel it off of the acetate, stick it onto your project, job done. Absolutely fabulous. So we're going to try and quickly pop that, oh, perhaps I won't put it back in there. I'll put it up there for the time being. Because I've got so much more to show you. If you could see what's over there, waiting to be shown. It's unbelievable. And we've got some more 3D stickers and I haven't had a chance to look at these yet, so I've no idea what they are. So, oh, it looks like something's come off. Oh, I might have actually used one of them. That, that might be it. So we've got some others here. So we've got yet more flowers. We've got cups and sauces. So if you're making, doing a tea party, that could be fun. And we've got a little bouquet of flowers there. These aren't on acetate, these are on shiny paper, but I think I must have used that one because it's the one missing. So I can't, and I, can't, I think it was a little posy of flowers. And you've got this gorgeous little birdie up here. And again, you've got this, I think this is, it looks like a cup with flowers in it. So there you go, you've got an instant image for your card. And we've got another little cup of tea or co coffee down here. And look at this fa fabulous bike with the floral wheels. Isn't that fantastic? And we've got some more. They're so pretty. There's so many of them. And again, you've got your, this is probably tea. That looks like a teapot to me. And so you could probably cut that out as well. So there are so many. So I'll put that up there. And now, while we're still on the first object of stickers, they do a lovely pack of alphabet stickers. And you get eight packs, four of each. You've got the, the ombre one and you've got the black ones. And so I'm just going to open it up and get it out and give you, let you have a look at it because they're really good, especially the shiny ones. These metallic ones, they're absolutely gorgeous and they are iridescent. That's the word I was after, iridescent. So they shine. If you, if I hold them to the light, you've got a sort of rainbow effect going through them. Absolutely fantastic. So if you want to put your own name, you can personalise your cards, create your own greetings. They're absolutely wonderful. And they are a good stick as well. I've, I've actually got two or three. I brought two or three of these packs so that I could test them out. They're a good stick as well. Now this one is the black one. So if you want to send a teacher a card, if you want to send a card to your teacher, you could create this like a type of blackboard and that could be perhaps the chalk. Maybe you want to put your teacher's name or wish her a happy birthday or if she's leaving or you're leaving and you want to wish her well. So there we go. There are so many opportunities or him, I should say. We do have male teachers as well. So there we go. That's that lot. So don't, don't run away yet. I've not finished. There's loads more to show you. Now, one of the other things that the, oh, that's the wrong way around, the 1893 crafts from Ryman's do, they do these gorgeous flower packs. Now, I've got to take these out to show you because you can't really see them properly while they're in the pack. So you get four in a pack, absolutely gorgeous. And they're all different. They're the same type of flower. Don't ask me what type of flower they are, but they're the same type of flower. But they're all different. So... They've got this little thing on the back, so you could put a flower stem if you wanted to. You, if you've got flower wires, you could put a flower wire in there, and they've all got the same. And you could create a bunch of flowers, or you could chop this off, you could cut this bit off, and actually use a bit of hot glue gun, and we'll come to that in a minute, and put them on your cards. So there's so many opportunities, and so many different ways to use these. So I'm just going to try and put that back in there. Um, we'll put that up there. So... We've got, I won't get these out, but we've got your sort of general flowers like that, your little roses like that. You've got different colours. You've got pinks and lilacs, and you've got a sort of creamy colour there. So that's lovely. And we have got, uh, again, I will get these out because these are like colour lilies, and I've never seen these in a flower format. I think they're foam flowers. Oh, yes, they are. So you've got different colours. Again, you've got different colours. I'll, I'll get some of them out and we can have a look. So you've got this gorgeous pink and they're already in a bouquet. So you can cut these off. In fact, we'll be using, well, at the end, later on this week, what I'll be doing, I'll be starting a series using some of, well, eventually all of these projects or a little bit of all of them to show you what we can make. And I've already got an idea as to what we can do with these. So you can have these in a bouquet like that. You get quite a lot in there, actually. That's very generous. And these, they're so gorgeous. In the middle, you've got the stamens as you get in the real ones, like that. And so that's that one. They, they were the first thing I saw when I went in, into the shop, into our store. So I'm gonna put that up there. 
And we've got, I'll leave these in there because you can see what they are. These are daisy flowers, absolutely gorgeous. So I'll put them over there. And we've got our, our sunflower embellishments. But the other thing they do, they do a pack of leaves. And again, I'm just going to quickly get these out. I've got a couple of packs of these. At the time of going in, it was very new and it was three for the price of two. So I did. So you could buy three. So it was like buy two and get another one free. So I did. And you've got some gorgeous leaves. These are like, well, these are, are autumnal leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got your summery leaves and they're all different as well. They're not all the same. They're a variety of leaves. So they're going to look fantastic on our projects. So we're going to have a lot of fun with those. I'm looking forward to doing some projects with these and seeing what we can do with them. So I'll pop that back in there. Now don't run away, we haven't finished yet. We've got some, now the first thing I'm going to, or the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring some of these down. Uh, they do the micro lights, the little LED lights. Now I was surprised, not that they did lights, but it's very handy to have lights if you want a light project. But what I didn't notice, I pulled them out. They do two. You get two light sets in a pack. So I pulled one out, another one fell out, which was a, it does actually tell you on the pack, but there are two in a pack, but I didn't notice that. So I have already, that one I've left as it is, but I have already put, they don't come with batteries, but they're quite a long, they're quite a long one. They're, like, they're a long string, but I've put the batteries in to show you how bright they are so that I could put them on and show you how bright they are. So we could make some illuminated cards or illuminated projects. So I'm sure we'll be getting around to that when we do our series. So that can go, oh, we'll put that on the end of the table. Hopefully it won't fall off. Now I've got a few more embellishments to show you. This is a glitter garland. And if I can get it out, it's so well packed. So. We'll get there eventually. So if I pull it, perhaps if I pull it out that way. These are all on, they're butterflies and hearts. And they're all on this gorgeous twine, this metallic twine. So you can slide them off and use them individually, or you can use them as a banner for your projects. So I'm going to be looking forward to using those in our projects. So I'll put that up there. And we've got a few other embellishments here, which I'm going to bring over. We've got these gorgeous bling, and it is, they are iridescent. They're a very pastel colour, but they are iridescent and they are absolutely gorgeous. They sparkle. You've got the little crystal type ones and you've got the domed ones. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's that one. I'm, I'm not going to get them all out because I'll never get them back in again. And then we've got our little bumblebees. If I turn them over that way. And our little ladybirds or ladybugs, whatever you like to call them. And again, they've got, as you can see, they've got some little foam dots on the back. So you can just literally stick them on. Job done. So that's brilliant. Uh, which way side should I put that? I'll put them there. And we have these 3D butterflies. And these are a delight. They really are. I'll just take one out. I must show you these. They're so pretty. I'll just take one of them out. Because they're all the same, apart from the fact that they're different colours. So what you've got, you've got this filigree part on the top. And then you've got underneath the actual wing part, you've got this beautiful glitter and it's a non-shed glitter. It doesn't come off, so it's not going to make a mess all over your hands. You're not going to go out after doing the project having glitter all over you. But this is a foiled, the filigree part is foiled and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're not self-adhesive, but you could put some foam pads or you could put some glue. So we will definitely be using a couple of these in our project when we start. Now. Talking of glue, they do a couple of adhesives, the, um, the 1893, I have to keep making sure I get the number right, or the year right. They do a couple of adhesives, which I wanted to show you. This glue, this is called, they just call it clear craft glue. Don't ask me to say that again, but it's a construction weight glue. It's quite gloopy in the bottle when you move it. I'm not sure you can see that, but it moves quite slow and gloopy. But I have had a little go at this. This comes in a 500ml bottle and it comes in a slightly smaller one. I'm not quite sure of the size of the small one, but I've got the big one, naturally. And it's actually a construction weight glue. So this is fantastic for your boxes and anything you want to make with, that you're going to add weight. So you put this on in the normal way. And once it's dry, it's really hard and strong. So this is a good construction weight glue. It's just as good as any other glue that I've used. In fact, it's really, really strong. So that's going to be wonderful and we will be using that on some of our projects. Now I have to show you this. This is 
Well, it didn't come like this. Oops. <laughs> That's why it didn't come like this. This was, a, they actually do the 1893 craft, oops, I knew that was going to happen, do their own glue gun. Now, the reason I'm wrestling with this is because what I didn't realise, when I opened it, all I saw, if I open that, all I saw to begin with was a bunch of glue sticks. And I thought I picked up the wrong thing. I thought, oh my goodness, all I picked up is some glue sticks. But it's not. It is a glue gun. It takes about five minutes to heat up, but it's a really good one. I have had, Obviously, I've had a little play and I've tested it out. And you, in the box with the glue gun, it's eight pounds to buy, but in the box with the glue gun, it's a mini glue gun, as you can see, you get 100 glue sticks. Now, usually you get about two or three if you're lucky, but this one, it comes supplied with 100 glue sticks so you can get going straight away. And it's a good, strong glue gun as well. Once it's set, that's it. Dynamite won't shift it. So that, that's that. And I must show you this washi tape. We're, nearly, we're almost at the end. We're getting there. Now the reason I've put that there is because I wanted to show you something. I'll keep them in I'll keep them in their foils or in their packs because you can see them. And some of them have got sentiments with love. And a lot, I think there was another one that said, um, someone special. What did it say to someone special? No, someone special it says. But they're really good. It's lovely and bright. We've got some metallic, we've got some metallic washi tape there, and some other ones there. We've got some floral ones. We've got leafy patterns, absolutely gorgeous. Now I'll tell you the good thing about this washi tape, all washi tape is good, but this one's special because if I put it there, hopefully, oh, a couple of the glue sticks fell out. I knew that was gonna happen. Let's see if we can put them in the, there. Now you can use this. This is some of the card that I got from the card pack, the colored card that I showed you earlier. Now this is brilliant. This is the washi tape. Uh, this is that one there, this top one there and this is good. You can use this to create borders. Now I've pushed this down quite hard so you can stick it down quite hard. But if you decide you, you put it down and you think that you might think that looks nice. I'll leave it there. But if you put it down and you use this, even after you've rubbed it like that, which I've done several times, even if you decide, actually, you know what? I don't really want that there. It's a good tape, but the magic of this, they should call it magic washi tape. Because even though you've pu pushed it down really hard, if you pull it back slowly, if you, you can remove it if you want to, and you don't tear your card. So if you've put your border down or you're you've made an embellishment and you're, at the end of the day you think, actually, no, I don't like that. As long as you pull it slowly, that will come off and it will not mark your card. But I'm going to pop that down there now for now. I won't use it like that, obviously. I just wanted to put that there to show you. So that's the washi tape. I've got a few more things to show you. One of them being, while we're on the subject of adhesives, they do this double side, they call it double sided tape, but it's not actually double sided tape. It's double sided foam tape. If I take it out and it comes with a bunch of these foam pads as well. It's not double sided tape as we know it. It's double sided foam tape. And that noise, if you can hear that noise, Today is, is um, refuse bin day today. It's, it's the bin men picking up our bins. So if you can hear that noise outside behind me, I'm sorry about that. And it's quite sticky. It's, it's a good sticky glue it's, or it's a good sticky tape as well. It's really tacky and it'll stick really nicely. And I've already had a little play with this. This is a brand new one. And it comes with a bunch of these things. It comes with a load of foam pads as well. So that, that was brilliant. I was running lower foam tape anyway, so I was jolly glad they had some of that. And last but by no means least, we're nearly there. there was some, I told you we had a lot to show you. They do these gorgeous reels of ribbon. Now this is organza ribbon. I love organza ribbon. It's my favourite. And this gorgeous lilac colour. Absolutely fabulous. And I'll just very quickly go through it. And you've, then you've got this Rick Rack ribbon. So you've got so many choices. And we've got a gingham ribbon. And the other two I'm going to show you together. They are a lacy ribbon and you've got an ivory and you've got a white. So if you're doing wedding projects, these would be fantastic. So there you go, guys. I'm not even going to try and put, put it all back together because I know I won't. But I'll bring some of the stuff that I can reach because some of it is on the floor. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and bring that. Now, if I push that out a little bit, I might be able to get a bit more of it in. So there we go. This is our, make sure I get the night number right. I should know by now. 18, I think, I'm sure it's 1893 crafts. Let me just find the one that's got the, the, the wording on it, which of course you can never find when you want it. 
Yes, yeah, so I think it's the 1893 Crafts from Ryman's. And there is our glue gun, which I really shouldn't have laid down flat. Yes, 1893, I did get that right. And I don't think I'm going to try and get any more in, with, with a possible exception of that. Oh, we could get a few more in. So there we go, guys. That is it. That is our 18... No, there is a selection of your 1893 Crafts. This is, that's the name of the brand, 1893 Crafts, from Ryman's in the UK. And if you're interested in any of this, any of these products, this glue gun, I, must, I can't recommend strongly enough. I couldn't believe it when it had 100 glue sticks. Absolutely wonderful. And I will add a link to Ryman's so that you can purchase it for yourself. And if you're lucky enough to have a Ryman's near you, especially if it's one of the larger stores, pop in and have a look. Tell them that you've seen this video. I mean, they don't know me from Adam, but tell them that you've seen a video highlighting their products. And that the lunatic that was showing you told you how fantastic it was. So there we go, guys. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed looking at all this stuff. I've certainly enjoyed showing it to you all. And very soon, in a couple of days, I'm going to be starting a series with some of this, eventually all of this wonderful product, or a range of them. And we're going to be making some cards, maybe some boxes, some embellishments, and we're going to have fun. And I'm going to show you different ways of using these fabulous projects so that you can use them for yourself. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Sorry, it's been a well. It has. It's been a bit of a long one today because there's been so much to show you, and that's not the extent of the range. I still have loads more in the shop that I haven't even brought yet. But these are the main craft products that we'll be using, and I'll be back very soon with the start of a series. I'm not quite sure how many projects yet. I've got to have. That'll be my task for this afternoon, to work out what we're going to do and how many. So there you go. I will see you very soon with a series making using these wonderful projects and in the meantime thank you so much for watching if you're not a subscriber to my channel if you are a subscriber thank you very much if you're not please do hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell especially if you're interested in this and then you won't miss any of these projects and i'll see you soon in the meantime take care everybody have fun and as always happy crafting bye bye for now